Uh, we found useful uh, to refer quickly to some uh, general information concerning the, uh, our case. Uh, the understudy reactor um, is among uh, the mostly uh, and the most commonly uh, used uh, reactors for the fissure drop uh, synthesis, singas. And um, the, as we can say, the slurry bubble uh, reactor uh, offers some uh, certain um, advantages compared to the other uh, reactors. It is a better control of the reactor temperature as uh, we assume an isothermal reaction and we will say uh, ahead how this is achieved. Uh, low costs, lower costs, uh, a lower pressure uh, drop which is uh, due to the fact that uh, the gas is uh, stored uh, at the bottom of uh, the reactor and it rises within the liquid. Uh, a higher uh, yield, uh, yeah, that's pretty much. And here you can see the basic reactions that describe uh, the fissure process synthesis. Uh, the first one is uh, the basic reaction which describes uh, how the hydrocarbon chains are formed. And of course, the, the with the photogastric reaction. And um, yeah, the main uh, goal of the, of the production um, uh, is uh, the, the main goal is the production of uh, big uh, chains of long hydrocarbon chains. And this is uh, mainly uh, influenced by the Anderson's exploratory coefficient. Uh, which uh, depends uh, on uh, all these different uh, conditions on the reactor, such as temperature, pressure, the hydrogen uh, over CO ratio, ratio, and the type of catalyst used. Um, yeah, this is uh, the model of uh, that we use for um, uh, for our um, yeah for our model. Describes our modeling. Uh, it's uh, based on the principle of the superposition, and uh, we dealt with each of these of the different phases that came uh, along um, uh, with a different way. You can see that there are three different phases. There are uh, large bubbles of singas, uh, which are most, uh, which can also be formed by uh, small bubbles which coalesce with each other. And uh, there is there is a small bubble um, of singas, and other than that, there is uh, the liquid form together with the catalyst uh, so solid particles. Uh, each uh, of these uh, phases uh, is uh, described uh, by a different set of equations, uh, which uh, made our model a six by six uh, equation uh, model. So we have six uh, variables and six equations, uh, two of which are uh, linearly described, two of which are uh, integrally described, and two of which are differentially described. Uh, so we'll see that later. Uh, the model of uh, the slurry bubble the column. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, here we can see some initial assumptions uh, that we took uh, for uh, our modeling, uh, such as uh, the S slurry bubble from reactor is operated in the churn turbulent flow region. Uh, also, we we already mentioned that uh, the gas is part of the bottom of the reactor, and um, the catalyst used is a cobalt supported catalyst, and that is due to the fact that. Uh, that uh, cobalt um, uh, yeah, favors uh, the formation of long uh, hydrocarbon chains, which is which is something we wanted. And uh, apart from that, uh, cat, uh, cat, uh, cobalt-based catalysts um, show the advantage of uh, being uh, of having um, of uh, having a much lower deactivation than the iron-based catalysts. That is. Also, that can also be used. And uh, apart from that, uh, yeah, the slurry, we assume that the slurry is moving with a very low speed, we uh, almost almost uh, near zero. And yeah, we assume that this is an isothermal um, um, re 
reaction to show uh, the total heat of the reaction uh, is removed by uh, using cooling tubes when saturating water. Uh, and this is, uh, the, this is the, the result of our uh, heat balance uh, study. Yeah, um, some more model uh, functions. The mass transfer resistance uh, yeah, is placed mostly uh, within uh, the slurry phase and not within the gas phase. And uh, uh, we assume uh, that the Anderson assumes chloride is um, 0 0.9, and this is due, uh, due to the thumb rule uh, that uh, the, uh, the, this coefficient can be uh, described by linearly with uh, the H2 over CO heat ratio. And these are uh, the simulation results. We, have first, we firstly have to uh, say that uh, we took the general, but not necessarily valid assumption uh, that uh, the integral and differential equations can be solved linearly uh, because we couldn't handle uh, the modeling with six different types of uh, equations. And these are our results. Here we can see uh, a conversion uh, over a uh, over different um, superficial gas velocities and over different uh, volume fractions which, uh, of the catalyst. And we can see that uh, by increasing the superficial gas velocity, the residence time in the reactor, the residence time of the synthesis in the reactor decreases, so the overall conversion decreases. And, uh, but we can see that uh, the total productivity increases slightly, but at some point, uh, the speed, the superficial gas uh, speed is so deep that the reaction, that uh, the decrease of conversion catches up and decreases the productivity. Uh, we also uh, run some uh, simulations uh, changing the height, so we check all the possible heights uh, of the commercially used uh, yeah, slurry bubble reactor, and we can see that uh, by keeping constant the other parameters of uh, the simulation, uh, both uh, conversion and productivity were increasing with height uh, the same frame. And uh, also one other simulation, we also check the all available uh, diameters for the for the commercially used. Uh, reactors, and we can see that uh, diameter does not include the conversion rate uh, because it doesn't change the speed or the residence time uh, of, uh, of the synthesis yes, in the reactor, uh, but it changes the flow rate of the synthesis in the reactor, so it increases the productivity. Yeah, and as a uh, result yeah. of the circuit balance, uh, we also uh, detected a number of cooling schemes uh, used, uh, that have to be used to keep this an um, isothermal uh, reaction, as we already mentioned. And yes. our conclusion, uh, the more uh, yeah, we also observed that the more catalyst concentration, the higher the productivity, but we have to, uh, we, we are limited by some limits. So the uh, uh, maximum mm -hmm. catalyst concentration is uh, uh, 0 0.35. And there is also an upper limit at the conversion rate increasing speed. We already saw that. And we found out that for our reactor, uh, for our optimal reactor, we have a feed ratio uh, which is equal to 2. The catalyst concentration, which, which was uh, equal to 0.35, the superficial gas velocity also uh, 0.35 meters per second, and we had a productivity of 2.3 thousand tons per day, and the needed uh, the needed number of cubic cubes was uh, 7,300. Uh, assume that uh, their diameter is millimeters, and their height is very. Yeah, 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 yeah.